cycle through the hotkeys here. And up here's our bedrooms. They're all dug out. Our migrant bedrooms. Put a food stockpile here. That way they don't have to go far from their cafeteria for it. And also dump all this stuff. That'll take a bit of time to do. But we'll get it off of our stockpile. Also probably smooth all this out. And I'm going to save these pillars for engravings once we get a really good engraver. If a significant event happens or I feel that we need to document something, I'll have them engrave a few pillars and we'll see what shows up. Hopefully it's something good. Try not to throw engravings all over the place. Looks like I made a bit of a mistake here whenever I was building the butcher shops. Uh, I didn't expect that they wouldn't be able to get back out after they actually came in here to build them. I guess they build from the center and this block here cancels them from getting out the door. So now they're trapped here. Um, go ahead and... I think they're too distressed out to tear the damn things down, so... I'll have them tear the wall down instead. Come on, guys, tear it down. We got the Psycho Ewok working on the wall. And Kelderon's on break. He's not too worried about being hungry and thirsty. And stuck in the butcher shop. He's gonna wait it out for a moment. Hope that someone else comes and does the work for him. He's just starting to freak out, thrash about the room. Psycho Ewok gave up tearing down the wall so that he could start hunting vermin for food. That's not going to last forever, though. He will need to get water. He's starving and he's thirsty. Kelderon's just hungry and thirsty. But he hasn't decided yet to work on the wall. Heck, let's even give the order to tear these down, see if they'll do that. Well, somebody's coming to save the day. It's Juju Dog. The farmer, taking time off from the fields to come check the butcher shop when he heard Psycho Catfish, or when he heard Psycho Ewok screaming here. And then he gives up, unable to bring the wall down. He doesn't have enough experience. He goes for help. Try and keep clawing at the wall. Looking out the windows, all he sees is hot magma down below. Man, what's everybody doing? Somebody's coming. Looks like the catfish has shown up. He'll tear down that wall. Use that pickaxe, catfish. Knock it down. We got trapped men back there starving and dying. Well, Kelderon's kind of entered a meditative state in the corner there, maybe in a fetal position. There you go. So I was going to say, Psycho Ewok was thrashing all about the room like a... Like he's having a seizure. And some type of mosh pit. Hallucinating from the hunger. Keep meditating, Kelderon. You'll be fine. Catfish will get you out of there. Yep. So I think now we'll just actually um, install doors here instead. Tear down these doors. And, whoops, remove this construction as well. We don't need those there. Well, that's a lesson learned to make sure you know your building designs before you start building in close and closed quarters there. Now I can get back to doing what I want to do. I want to build a, a wall, a floor out from here. Because this is underneath 
our airlock. So we'll build the floor out from here, because nothing at all. Well, I guess something could come through here. We won't build to there, though, but we're going to build all the way out to here. And then we're going to build build pillars, uh, pillars in the middle of this road here to act as support for the bridge that will be built up overhead. But I don't want to build a wall. I want to build a floor. We wouldn't get very far on this big block here if we were building a wall. What do we build it out of? How about we build it out of ortho clays? We've got plenty of that. Let them get started there. Also, we uh, also got this little thing here that's going to be turned into our animal drop. I think we'll also mine this out. We've got a bridge being built here, so we'll mine this out. It'll be a pit. We'll throw the animals in here, and once this bridge gets built, I'm going to wall this off. We'll hook hook this lever, lever up to the bridge, so when we throw the animals in here, they'll just walk around in here, breed with each other, and do whatever animals it is they do, and they won't try to path out. I hope not. Basically try to save as many frames as I can, because things are going to start getting crowded in here. Hopefully real soon, if we can get migrants in. And then anyways, once we pull the lever, the bridge will drop them into this room here, where the butcher can go grab them. It's going to be, I don't know, haphazard, I guess. It'll be all the animals at once. I'll have to probably come up with a better design. We'll do this in multiple locations, maybe. That way we can split them up. I'd hate to have to drop 100 animals at a time and then have, have to re-go gather them, throw them all into the pit. I don't know, can I cage them up, guys? Chain them up? Psycho Ewok's unhappy. Let's check his preference. Profile. Let's see his thoughts. Psycho Ewok has been unhappy lately. He slept in a good bedroom, been dehydrated, and has been starving lately. He complained of thirst, but he dined in a good dining room recently. He admired a fine door and has been satisfied at work, and also complained of hunger again. Yeah, you'll probably have the effects of hunger and everything. Hey! Migrants. Well, how are we going to get them into our base? And that damn spider's not around there, is it? That's his hunting ground there. Real quick, let's find where the spider's at. We've got two cave spiders. He is... He's pretty close to our base. He's on the other side of the magma pipe there. There's a Wanamingo. Okay, well that's the first cave spider. What about you, Onsta? Well, he's right there around the magma pipe. They're just waiting for me to open this place up, aren't they? Or waiting for me to build this so they can jump on it and come out here. Those spiders are smarter than you think they are. Better give them some respect. We're gonna move the migrants up here, though. We'll put a meeting spot right here. If need be, um, try that one trick again. Dig a hole. I guess we have enough of the airlock complete. What am I waiting for then? Let's pull this lever. We've got enough done that we can let the migrants in. Turn this into a meeting pit real quick. A meeting area. And I'll go tear down, remove this meeting area, because we, we don't need it right now.